Hey guys, it's Bailey from Making Up the Midwest, and this is going to be a quick review of Lorac's new Pro Matte Lip Colors. Individually, these retail for $16 a piece. However, I bought this trio off of hsn.com. It's the nude trio, and it retails for $29, although you can find it for as low as $24, bringing the individual cost of these down to eight, about half what they retail individually normally. This trio, despite saying nudes, contains a nice mix of shades. One is pink. The other is rose brown, and the last that I'm currently wearing on my lips is nude. Each of these glided on the lips really nicely, evenly, smoothly, without tugging like a lot of matte lip products can, and they don't feel terribly drying on the lips. They actually kind of left them feeling very soft and hydrated afterwards, which is totally opposite what a lot of matte lip colors end up doing to your lips. There were a few inconsistencies with these shades, namely nude and pink. Didn't adhere to the inner part of my bottom lip quite as well as rose brown did. And the shade pink in particular left behind a white cast on my lips that if you have any sort of dryness or flakiness, it will really stick to that and make your lips look very parched and a little unflattering. And I didn't experience that with the rest of the shades in this line. These applicators are awesome. They are automatic and the tips of these are relatively tapered so you can get a nice precise application. One downside, however, is that once this tapered tip is worn down, there is no way to resharpen it. So you do kind of lose your ability to get a super precise line beyond a certain point. As far as recommendations go, Nude and Rose Brown are the shades that I would say to buy individually if you are wanting to spend that $16. Otherwise, this trio is a great value and definitely the way to go if you want to try this entire line. If, however, you want a more affordable matte lip product, I love the NYX matte lipsticks. They are a little bit more drying on the lips, but they also have a little bit more of a lasting power and the bulk of the shades offer a little bit more of a pigmented punch. So it's something to keep in mind if you don't want to drop the cash for these, but you still are in the mood for a good matte lip product. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!